welcome to the podcast for when the curves line up for November 27th, 2023. Please see the article that includes diagrams of today's events on the website at whenthecurveslineup.com. Text by Jeffrey L. Hunt. In Chicago, sunrise occurs at 6.54 a.m. Central Standard Time followed by sunset at 4.22 p.m. Here is today's planet forecast. In the morning sky, the November full moon, known as the Beaver Moon, reaches opposition with the sun at 3.16 a.m. CST, the official time of the full phase. The entire side of the moon facing Earth is brightened by the sun's light. At an hour before daybreak, the moon is about 15 degrees up in the west-northwest, 9.6 degrees to the right of Aldebaran, Taurus brightest star, and 5.3 degrees to the upper left of the Pleiades star cluster. Use a binocular to see the cluster with the moon. The Venus-Jupiter opposition occurs December 10th. On this morning Jupiter sets as Venus rises. During late May, there is a close conjunction of the two planets, but this occurs very close to the Sun. Currently, the planets are nearly 165 degrees apart and low in the sky when they are visible at the same time. At three hours before daybreak, both planets are 8 degrees above their horizons. Jupiter is in the west and Venus is in the east-southeast. An hour before sunrise, brilliant Venus is less than 30 degrees up in the southeast, 4.9 degrees to the upper left of Spica, Virgo's brightest star. Venus passes Spica in a wide conjunction in two mornings. After this event, Venus continues to step eastward, heading towards Ibn el Janubi, the scorpion's southern claw, nearly 24 degrees to the lower left of the planet. The star is over 5 degrees above the horizon. Mars rises about 15 minutes before sunrise, lost in the sun's glare. In the evening sky, Mercury is less than 10 degrees up in the southwest at sunset. The planet sets 63 minutes after the sun. At 45 minutes after sunset, Mercury is less than 3 degrees above the horizon. One hour after sundown, the bright moon, 99% illuminated, is less than 10 degrees above the east-northeast horizon. Jupiter, nearly 40 degrees to the upper right of the moon, is over 25 degrees above the eastern horizon. The planet is retrograding in front of Aries, 11.3 degrees to the lower right of Hamel, the constellation's brightest star, and 13.3 degrees above Menkar. Jupiter is west of an imaginary line between this stellar pair. Look southward for Saturn, 35 degrees above the southern horizon. It is moving eastward in front of Aquarius, 7.2 degrees to the upper left of Deneb Alchdi, Capricornus tail. The ringed wonder and the star tightly fit into the same binocular field of view. Find Fomalot, the mouth of the southern fish, nearly 20 degrees to the lower left of the planet. Two hours after sundown, the moon is nearly 20 degrees up in the east, 9.5 degrees to the upper left of Aldebaran and 9.2 degrees to the upper right of Elnith. Capella, the third brightest star in the northern half of the sky, is over 20 degrees to the upper left of the moon. Saturn sets before midnight. Jupiter is low in the western sky when Venus rises. The moon is in the west before sunrise tomorrow. Thank you for listening. Please read the articles at whenthecurveslineup.com.